YouTube sidekick here in my A10A and I am on the hunt again. Once again, I am with my wingman uh, RT Fischl and we are out looking for trouble. Specifically, this time, we are on the hunt for a man pads. Now, for those of you who are not familiar, this video is set in the Balloon Goes Up campaign scenario. It's 1982, and we're in the OG Hogs. Now, one of the main air defenses of Soviet forces that we're up against in this time frame is the SA-7B Strela Man Portable IR Sensing Missile. Now, or man pads. Every Soviet motor rifle battalion has nine of these systems. So, basically, if you're in an A-10 defending against a Cold War invasion scenario, these things are everywhere. You cannot avoid them, and since they're pretty tough to see, you won't be likely be spotting them before they spot you. So, I put together this mission so we could try to figure out how to deal with these pesky little things. In the mission, we know approximately where to find the man pads, but we don't know exactly where they are within that area, and we won't know until we get close enough for them to engage us. So there's no point in floating around at a distance trying to see them on our Maverick sensors, for instance, or just flying around in circles seeing if we can see them. They're not going to see them until we're close enough for them to engage us. That's just how it's going to work. So we just have to go in there and do some... Uh, Recky by death, as the saying goes. Meaning that we're going to have to dare them to take a shot at us so we can find them, and we can fix their positions, then we can finish them off, assuming that we can survive their attack. Now, that sounds a bit like we're playing a pretty high-stakes poker game, but the odds are a little bit more in our favor than you might realize. There's some good reasons for that. We can talk about that maybe in a minute, but right now I think we need to pay attention to the area of operations over there. We're in the danger zone. One or the other of us is likely to receive some attention from Mr. Manpads sometime soon, so let's pay attention. Okay, game on. Two different sites launched on RT, and I want to take the near one. I think I know where it is in those trees down there, uh, and really like them to take another shot so I can confirm it. But it's that little group, sort of that reverse C-shaped group of woods. Getting myself lined up, trying to get a good look at, a good look at it. Ah, there he's taking another shot. All right, come on, RT with the flares. All right, no time to worry about him right now. I gotta keep my eyes locked on the target. I know where he is. He's mine now, eventually. Let's try a gun pass. Pull up, pull up. Well, pull up, pull up. I think I was pretty much in the pull area, but I'm doubtful that pull we actually up, had up. any effect. We often don't with the gun. Altitude, altitude. So, we'll just, uh, hang around here. We'll keep flaring as we fly away, and the expectation, there he goes, yes. He's gonna take another shot at us. Which was a mistake on his part, because now I know where he is, and I am gonna own this man pads with a couple of high drag bombs. And this is where the A-10 really comes in handy, that nice tight turning radius, good visibility, watch the target all the way through this pass and I know where he is he's not going to be there for long 
Altitude, altitude, altitude. Special delivery for Mr. Van Pack. mission accomplished on the first man pad so let's talk a little bit about uh, what advantages we have and um, how we're going to exploit those to keep taking out man pads. The biggest one is that we are in a platform that is well suited to the job of hunting Strellas. The A-10 provides a very low IR signature and carries a large number of flares which are very effective at decoying the missile partly because our signature is so weak. Now, our IR signature is weak because the A-10 engines are high bypass turbofans, which have a much smaller heat signature than big afterburning turbojets. They are also mounted high on the rear fuselage where their signature is masked by the rudders and the elevator. They're mounted there for this specific reason. The other reason that we don't have to fear the Strela too much is because, frankly, it's not that capable a missile, uh, unlike later man pads that are quite a bit more lethal. The biggest thing about the Strelas is that they can't engage us when we're heading towards them, meaning that if we find them and fix them and we can get lined up on them, we basically get a free shot at them to finish them off and they can't return fire until we go overhead. So we just need to make sure we don't miss. Okay, so it's pretty obvious what our strategy needs to be. We know there's a second set of man pads down there. They, they come in groups of three. Uh, it's in the town down there. But we don't know exactly where. I know approximately where, but not good enough to get a fix on them yet. So we're going to fly around here, and uh, we're going to keep flaring, and basically uh, dare him to take another shot. Once we know where he is, the fun is going to begin again. Okay, well let's uh, once around the circle and we still haven't managed to get him to take the bait, so I guess we're not quite close enough. Pretty sure he's in the end of town down there um, near that lozenge-shaped woods. Lozenge-shaped woods? Say that three times fast. At any rate, I think he's down in there. Uh, we just need to get a little closer, so while I'm uh, coming around to get a little closer, I uh, just want to say a little bit about how I'm going to uh, deal with this guy. You'd think that, uh, you know, the a 10s cannon or rockets would be the best way to take out uh, man pad soldiers standing in the open. In DCS, at least, it appears that's not so. It just doesn't seem to be very effective against them. Uh, but what does seem to work, uh, what I used the last run there, is a couple of high drag bombs, well spaced, uh, really seems to ruin their day. So that's probably what we're going to use. Maybe we'll, we'll uh, give them a, a squirt with the gal just because, well, you know, we're flying an A-10. We've got to do that. I'm not sure it'll help very much, but at least it'll feel good. At any rate, we're getting closer now to, I think, where he is. So I'm going to start paying a little bit more attention out the window here and see if we can get him to take a shot. Coming up from down there, 
get a good look at where it is. The most important thing is to get fixed on that target. So we know what we're aiming at. All right, well, he's mine now. All I gotta do is make sure that combination of the guns and bombs take him out so he doesn't get another shot at me as I go by. like a pretty successful man pads hunt to me hope you enjoyed that and for now this is going to be sidekick signing off